Hello, Solus Link's back once again with his friend Brett, getting back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, and this little rascal decided to hatch without our consent. This one right here. This is our newborn offspring. His name is, well, we don't actually know that because we gotta figure that out later, Brett, right? We gotta give a name for him. Or her. It. It. We can't assume genders. Looks pretty jolly. Though. Yep. As you can see, this little dude here has got Buddy's mouth. Here, let, let's let's show off the newborn to, to Buddy. Look over there. Oh, no, wait. Buddy's probably swimming because he's got ghost legs. Yeah. That's the Buddy. Buddy doesn't even care. He's not, not, not the best role model of a parent. Remember, we're not assuming genders because chows don't have genders. Come on. Say hi to your child. <laughs> You're a little too late there, buddy, but it's okay. At least you put in the effort. So, unfortunately, since we're in the middle of story mode, we can't name this little guy. But at least he's got his... <laughs> Frog. <laughs> I just love how, how Buddy was sauntering off without legs, running away. Oh. Are you not hungry? Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's goblin. Goblin. Just... Just needed something desperately. Yeah, he ran out of all that yolk. <laughs> it's a happy occasion. Everyone celebrate. Eat coconuts. Eat, my friend. All right, let's go start the story mode. So we'll come back here later in the next video, probably. Oof, that was a nice lag there. Um, yes, that's right. I continue. I do this level next. Oh God. Probably is. Yes. Probably the rouge level. Ugh. <laughs> ugh, 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 oh! Oh, Sonic! I love what you did with your hair! Seriously, Amy. Can you not see? Can you even see the difference? <laughs> <laughs> that boy's acting, though. Yeah. I love how they did not change the lip syncing from Japanese to English. Oof, why is Eggman wearing his goggles now all of a sudden? I've never seen him wear them like that. Oh, oh, this is the boss fight. So I get to do this and Rouge. Ooh. So, what was I, oh yeah. We're gonna name the Chow in the next video when we're not worried about story mode because we can't name the Chow when we're doing story mode. And we'll do a few other more, we'll, we'll do a few more Chow related things like karate and races. How's that Ooh, sound, Brett? That'll be nice. That's gonna be good. I think we'll have fun with that. Very good. Come on, holding attack. How drunk can you be? <laughs> so, oh, jeez. Another thing I meant to talk about in the last video. Always go to your right. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was the tip that they mentioned online. I always... Wow, camera, come on. We'll be, just always go the same Behave way. yourself. I think. Behave yourself. Uh, something I meant to talk about in the last video was... Uh, Something I did recently. Tails, you're so dumb. I undergone a certification online for bartending service. And I have the certificate right in front of me. It reads as follows It's our business, responsible beverage server program. Five minutes, boys. Yeah, we only got five minutes to do this level. I This is probably my least favorite level in the game. And that's only because I hate time limits in any video game. I can't stand them. They're anti-fun. I love playing video games at my own pace. I do not like being rushed through them at all. That's why I always liked Sonic, because it does encourage you to be fast, but sometimes you also have to take, you know, you have to chill out a second and not rush through the level. You have to take the, the long way home. Yeah. Like, you can't rush through it all the time, otherwise you're going to keep dying over and over. Take the long way home. It's a good song, people. What song is Google. that? I don't know. You just heard it on the radio. The radio, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, get up there. That oh. was fun. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Alrighty, where are you? I gotta talk about my bartending service when I'm not under stress from a time limit. I wonder if it's up here. It's no fun when it just beeps the whole heckin' time. Alright, computer, talk to me. Where do we find it? Two color container. That helps a lot. Because there's all sorts of two color containers. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
Oh, oh, we, we got signs of life. We got signs of intelligent life up here somewhere. What the hell are you talking about? Does that, did that look like a two color container to you, Brett? That looked like a wooden container, a solid, ordinary brown wood container. Maybe, right. maybe it came from Find the another computer. We're running out of time. Oh yeah, shoot, we are. We're, we're at three minutes right now. Uh, I think we have to go higher in the level. Likely. Because there's quite a few high spots in this area. Yeah. Oof, right. and then you got lasers that come out of nowhere. Laser beams. At RKO speed. Out of nowhere. That's how fast they go. Out of nowhere. I, f I forgot climbing is a thing. I'm so used to gliding throughout uh, the Rouge and Knuckles levels, I forget that you can scale these walls at your leisure. Oof, oof, stop. Stop it. Slow down. Here we go. And we have to take this thing. Ah, fail. No. Epic fail. The most epic of fails. Oh, there's a computer there too. Oh, he came back again! And I failed Get again. Get the computer this time. So I'm not gonna bother. Get the computer though. Okay. You're already on. Yeah. It's, I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere. Not that way. So it's gotta be this way. Right? Whoa! Did you see Speedy Gonzalez over in the corner there? Yeah. That was crazy. Oh, it's that guy. I thought it was in an enemy. In this. See, sometimes it's always in an enemy, I think. You think every time? Sometimes. What about this? The thing? first pl I feel like sometimes on a story mode playthrough, the emeralds might be set. Where on. Um, no, that's not true, because in speedrunning they have to know. Oh, I remember safes are a thing here. You can open these in the, by digging in the middle. Sometimes they have some pretty funny things. Like sometimes you'll see skulls mm. in, in these doors, and it makes you think, like, what the hell happened in here? Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, we gotta find the power source for this. Where is it? I don't know. Oh no, I hate finding these doors. Cause then you gotta actually put effort into finding the switch that opens the Darren thing. All right, be right back. We're gonna find it where that switch is behind the scenes. Let's do it. All right, quick trial, go. We found out where to go. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go way back up the top, and I just realized we're going anywhere but the top. Yeah, gliding isn't gonna get we us. We got out. 40 seconds. We gotta make this happen. I think it can happen. I have faith. We just gotta believe. What's a song for believing, Brett? I believe in a thing called love. I don't know. <laughs> I I believe there I can go, fly. Kate. There we go. See. Ugh. Get over there. Oh. Oh, oh get that it's coin. okay. Yeah, it's all right. Yes. No. 18 seconds left on the clock. And that's... And it's over here. Can we make it? Can we make it? No! So close! One second! Yeah! <laughs> Just barely made it! Seven, eight seconds. Oh my eight. god, that was Woo. amazing! That's definitely an A. Woo! In the words of Ric Flair. Definitely that. Ah, oh, man, you couldn't give that to me? Did you not see the level of critical acclaim that was accomplished in that clutch? Oh my goodness, that gave me more adrenaline than I think this game has ever gotten me. That was great. Play. Oh my goodness, I just... Oh, and oh. now we got a boss battle to follow up with that. I guess that's I guess our... Do yeah, that, that's, that's our celebration right there. Anyway. <laughs> the old flying dog. I just remembered like you found the origin of that that song you were talking about earlier. Yes, take the long way home. It's by Super Tramp. That band happens to be one of my dad's favorite bands. That band is fantastic. Oh, if you haven't listened to them, just just uh, do yourself a favor. They're so great. Them. My favorite they songs really by them good. are the Logical Song, Please Goodbye stop. Stranger. And what's the one where he says, take a look at my girlfriend? Take a look at my girlfriend. Is that literally the she's name of the, the song? Only one? I have no idea. <laughs> I love that one. It's, she's, she's the only one he's got, though. I know. It's just, it's such she's a... not much of a girlfriend. Yeah. 
Not, 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 that doesn't what? matter. What? What? What the hell, the hell was okay. that? So how am I supposed to hit this guy? You're supposed to, we'll do the same thing as, uh... Like with Knuckles, it was a lot easier. No, it's similar to it. Well, you can climb on the fence walls, right? Oh. That'll help you get altitude. But yeah, that, that girlfriend apparently isn't much of anything, is she? She's the only one he's got, though. Yeah, so... I, lo I love songs that like play on those sorts of those those sorts of things where like uh, I'm stuck in an unideal situation, but she's all I got or it's all I have. <laughs> Meatloaf. They try <laughs> they try to find ways to manage it. You know, Meatloaf's uh, "Confession by the Dashboard of the Lights," I believe it's called, is a great one for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know that song. I only know "Bad Out of Hell." And I also know the title of uh, one of his songs, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. And, so, I, and so, I've applied that title to a lot of circumstances so in my life. What do, you, do you know what the name of Meatloaf's albums are? Bad Out of Hell. Do you want to know what the next one's called? Mm, what is it? Take a guess. Take a wild guess. You've already said it, kind of. Two Out of Three Ain't Bad? Nope. Uh, bad Out of Hell, too. Uh, <laughs> want to know what the next one's called, Blaine? Three? Seriously? Yep. <laughs> how how does that even happen? Like I've heard of some oh, albums. Me. Yeah, you're you're doing the shadow level next. But yeah, Meat Loaf. He's a special guy. Like I've heard of two used before, like Guns and Roses, Use Your Illusion, one and two. Yeah. But I've never heard of three. That's very no way. Actually, you know what? I have heard of three because Led Zeppelin third album was called three and four and four. and four well that fourth one was technically untitled but see that's that's different in my eyes because they're saying like they're just numbering their albums but he's they're they're all bad at the house you know? yeah they're they're wild yeah not to be confused <laughs> apparently he's a bit quite the actor too meatloaf i've seen him in one or two movies i don't remember what they were though pulp fiction was he in pulp fiction he's man boobs that's oh him. my god, he was yeah, man boobs, man wasn't boobs, he? Yep. Oh wow, I never put that together uh -huh. until now. Oh, I have that to. Is I, him. I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. I can't always. believe it. That's just that's just yes. The answer to that is always <laughs> yes. Whenever you need to watch a movie like Pulp Fiction, just yes, do it right this second. Stop playing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stop playing video games and just watch Pulp Fiction. Yeah. It's a hell of a time. Let's see that skill. I did. You got all of those chaos drives, and they all happen to be red. Actually, did they all happen to be red? Pause the pause the game and see if they were red. I'll pick something up sometime. Because <laughs> that's gonna be more convenient than pressing the pause quick button right on the side. <laughs> the pause feature has no impact on our quick. Tri Actually, yes, it does. It, it depends on how. It depends timing. on the context. Sometimes they use in-game timer. Actually, they'll say ideally they'll use the in-game timer. Oh, that was a... That was, yeah. I assume there's not an animal ideal. over here. Yeah, somewhere. a peacock. There we go. Yeah, see, they're all red. A peafowl, if you want to be politically correct. Oh, I didn't notice that animal. We're, we're seeing a lot of animal pikes we never noticed before. Remember the last time we played through this game, we just blazed through it. Didn't really pay much attention to the finer details. Oh, I completely forgot. I was supposed to we talk about like that. I was supposed to talk about bartending, and I've completely been thrown in at the wayside. So I completed a certificate of completion for a responsible beverage service program, and basically, I'm not sure how it is in other provinces of Canada, but basically, the way it works is you have to have specific training in order to be a bartender on Prince Edward Island. You can't just... Or serve alcohol. Yeah, serve alcohol in general. Like, you can't just apply to a job, send your resume out, and get an interview and all that. Like, Ooh. you have actually have to have... that. That's some pro skills you were just demonstrating there, Brett. Really proud of you. Quick trial! Quick trial, go! <laughs> but, uh... Those animations, they take too long. Yeah, that that's definitely your that number one problem. Reason. Not not the fact that you were <gasps> playing hopscotch on top of a tunnel. Nope. Not no, no, not one no bit, not one tiny iota. But anyways, uh, in order to work as a bartender in PEI, you have to have specific training. But luckily, this training is offered online. It used to be offered at Holland College, which is one of our two university type things. Actually, there's probably a few others, but not as big as Holland College. And then, of course, there's also UPEI. 
University of Prince Edward Island. So, anyways, I took this course online. It was only like... Did you get the light dash? Light dash oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You gotta go in that crate there. See that there? Oh, it's in there. Yeah, there's a hole there. And then you gotta come back up. That's how it do. Yeah. But anyways, you get the certificate. Yet, Well, you have to pay $40. Then you study, like, a manual. It takes, like, a couple hours to do. And, whoa. What? Right. There we go. There, there we go. That was a thing that happened. So you do, you read the booklet, and then you do a quiz at the end. It's like 30 questions. Oh, excuse me. And then if you get a minimum of at least 80%, then you pass the course, and then you can <coughs> apply for bartending jobs and all that. And that big. If, you've, that big. if you've seen my Dead Rising videos, you know that I'm a fan of Bar Rescue. That was kind of, that no joke. That was one of the main motivating things that wanted... The, uh, me to get into bartending was because I really like the business side of things and how they operate. It just really fascinates me and I wanted to be a part of that. And also because bartending offers really good tips depending on where you work at and what kind of service you offer to your employees. How can, oh, you were just, just curious. Right? Out, yeah. yeah. Even though it's quick draw! Yes, that's right. You were deviating from your previously scheduled you don't plan. Want to miss the, that good, good, you know? That good, non-existent good. Yeah. Yeah. I was let down. You Have you done any Dude. bartending in your Ooh, life, Brett? that's not bad. No, I've never had a safe server certificate. Oh, yeah. That, that, that is kind of important, because I mentioned that it is important, and for some reason I forgot it was important. Well, it's not terribly difficult to get one of those certificates. No, it isn't, to be fair. Like, it's, it's just the cost, really, that's... Cut, that kind of puts people off. Like forty dollars isn't even really that much, but the fact that 40? you have to, yeah, it is forty dollars. Hmm. Oh, so thirty. No, forty dollars. But the fact that maybe maybe it used to be thirty dollars when it was offered on campus. I wonder if that's it. it was and then when they the moved day. it online for pure convenience, it just increased it by a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be prepared. But you. honestly, I remember those seminars at Holland College because my brother took that same course. He just never did anything with it. And he, he, uh, whoa, I just realized he's kind of changing color a little bit. That's the newborn, right? Yes. Yeah. His color looks a little bit different. You're right. More. You didn't even really give him much stuff, did you? No, just, uh. That's so weird. One parrot so far. That's so weird. I don't remember him changing colors that fast. Like, I know that his color changes a bit depending on what character's raising him and all that. Oh, you know what I think we should do? We should uh, give an even focus between hero and dark for this guy. Oh, I don't know how we'll manage that. Well, let's just ignore him. And in the next video, we'll make him pimped out and all that. Like, we'll give him le uh, singing lessons. We'll give him uh, lots of chow fruit. We'll give him a name. We'll give him the we whole get shebang. Around the chow fruit for the boys. Oh yeah! Sure I can't believe we haven't really gotten around to doing that. <laughs> Swing and a miss. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to applying to bartending jobs. Like, there's a few in our area that are coming up. You got the thing is, you got to apply to the jobs before the season starts, like the summer season, because then by that time, everyone and their dog is going to apply to. All these bartending jobs, and you're gonna—it's not gonna be a good time. And the restaurant wants to have someone that's already competent in their systems by the time the crews start, the cruise ships start rolling in. Yeah, exactly. All right, so in the next video, we'll come back. We'll do a bunch of chow-related stuff to take a break from the story, and yeah. we're going to do all sorts of fun things with Buddy and JoJo and Mr. Mrs. Nameless over here. So look forward to that. Until then, Bye. thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, stay tuned for the next part. It has child. What are you doing? Why are you pushing that coconut? Aw, oh, dang it. No! He drowned in. No! Continue to drown, Tyler. <laughs>